Hi, I'm Laura Pinkasavage, one of the field marketing specialists for the East Central Florida region. You might be watching this video today because you're interested in custom pages and how to do so. I have another video on how to create your custom page, but this video is going to focus specifically on the different features, templates, and modules that you can include in your custom Moxie website page to help you personalize and show off some different features on your site. We're going to get started on CB Desk by going to the Moxie Work Suite. You'll find this tile. I have mine alphabetized, but wherever you have your Moxie Work saved, click in, let it load to your profile page. And I want to make sure that blue bar pops up at the top. On it, you'll see the, the menu item for my website. That is where we're going to be going today because we're going to be doing all about custom pages on your Moxie website. When you first log on to your website, you will be in the agent admin tool. So it is going to have this sidebar on the left hand side that has a few different options for you to click into for editing your website. I always recommend going to your site pages which is going to be the literal backbone of your website. These site pages show all of the content that's already on your website, whether it is shown or hidden. Some features might be hidden. To create that custom page, this might be a little bit of a review from my other video. We're going to hit add new custom page and then click submit. We can go and title our custom page whatever purpose you want it to be for. There is this text editor mode, but for the purpose of our video today, we are going to enter into the builder mode. So it is the second tab on this toolbar right here. It might ask you to leave. Uh, you're not technically leaving anywhere. This is just entering you into the builder mode. So go ahead and select leave and it is going to open up our builder. If this is the first time that you've ever created a custom page through Builder, it is going to show a blank page that says drop a row, layout, or module to get started. This menu bar on the right hand side is going to automatically open for you. You'll see at the top that there are modules, rows, templates, and saved. If ever this doesn't open up for you, it's super easy to find. I like to think of it as anytime I want to add anything to my website, I'll go to this plus sign. Plus sign add makes it really easy to remember. So hit the plus sign and you'll be able to enter in this menu. Whenever I start creating a custom page, I like to go to the templates. Um, there's a few different options. So we have uh, MoxieWorks templates, landing pages, content pages, and brand templates. So the MoxieWorks templates has the largest library of different formatted templates. Uh, there are home pages, about pages, recruiting pages, neighborhood pages, uh, single listing pages, and even a blog homepage template. In the brand templates, these are all going to be branded to the Colwell Branker, so you can already see some of that CB blue popping out here. And they are also home pages, some other templated pages, so this one's a template page for buying a home. Um, some recruiting, this one says join us, so a recruiting page, uh, local community page that you can add from here. Um, a template for seller's assurance and different programs, a template for selling your house, and even a custom team homepage. We'll see that these templates already have photos and information that are built in. However, a lot of that is just kind of filler text and filler information that you're going to want to swap out. So what's highly recommended before we even get to this point is to have all photos and content saved and ready to go. While I'm scrolling through the different template pages, I can click into them to view them at a larger scale and see what they look like and all the different features on that page. If I'm happy with it, I can click in and start editing right away. However, if I want to change it up, I can do so easily by clicking on another 
template and hitting replace existing layout. It's going to make sure you want to do that before you proceed. So hit OK and it's going to replace that layout. So you can see this one has a different formatting and different features available. Let's just say that I'm pretty happy with this layout for the design purpose that I need. The next thing that I can do is go in and add some additional modules. If you're already in brand templates here, there is a module library uh, for different modules and then also a module library for videos that are all going to be Cobalt Banker branded. You can either start by going with this, so I'm going to replace this existing layout. Gives you the reminder, do not publish on your Moxie website. This is not going to be a specific page that you'd want to publish, but there's going to be different modules here that you can select and add to your website depending on where you want them. So if you have a seller's page, there's a lot of different seller's resources, uh, buyer's resources here, and a few different modules. So let's say I want to save this exclusive look module. I'm going to click on my wrench icon here, then select save as, I'm gonna name it exclusive look. And hit save. By doing this, this is going to save it into my saved rows. So when I hit that plus sign, I can find it in my saved area. So right there is exclusive look. So when I'm making a page, let's just say I'm making a new home page, but I really want that exclusive look there. I can hit add, saved, and drag and drop that module into my new page and there it appears. From here, I could change out different images by clicking on the image, removing the old image, and selecting a new image. So I already have a few that are saved on my media library, but if I don't have that perfect image saved, I can either drag and drop one that's ready to go, or select files from my desktop. So I'm going to select this global luxury photo that I got off of BrandServe and hit save. If you want to edit what the text says, it's pretty easy to do by clicking in. It should pull up this text editor box. If for some reason it doesn't, you'll just need to hit that text editor settings, this little wrench, and you can click in and edit the information in this box. So, inserting your text here. You can definitely change titles, change out photos. Essentially, all the different editing you want to do will be done by clicking on that wrench icon. It'll give you general options to edit. You can change things like the alignment, change a few different style features. So for this one, you can change that background color. Um, with colors, you can save color presets. So I have a CP blue kind of color saved already. So if I wanted to save that, I can. If I wanted to add my own headshot, I would just once again go into general, remove, then I could select a photo. Once again, my headshot's already saved on my media library, but if it wasn't, I could select file and find it from my desktop. I'm gonna pull in my headshot and select that photo and hit save. It got a little bit big, so what I can do is I can change the size. So right now this is full size. I'm gonna bring it down to medium or maybe even large. Let's see what large looks like are just a little big. I liked medium more. And so we can hit save. You can do a custom photo size if you want, which might be my best bet. 
Obviously, Bridget's not my name, so I could change that right away. And then hit save. Well, let's say I wanted to add a video onto my custom page. All right, I see this lovely, looks kind of like New York City skyline, not exactly um, representative of a lot of different areas in Florida. So if I wanted to change that out, I would just go up here to the row settings by hitting that wrench. On the style page, I can scroll down till I find the background, which right now the type is listed as a photo. So if I had another photo I wanted to use, I could definitely swap it out, but I really want to use a video. It's going to give me options for source. So if I had a video saved, I could pull that up. However, I'm going to bring one in from my YouTube channel. So I found the video that I'm looking for. So it's this gorgeous oceanfront sunrise. This I actually got from Canva and was able to download and save it royalty free. I'm going to copy that URL address and go back to my builder and then we'll paste this into where it says YouTube or Vimeo URL. Before I hit save, I'm actually going to double check a few features. Enable audio. There's not any audio in this video, so I'm going to say no because I don't want audio right away. And enable video in mobile. This is going to be something important to hit yes, just because if I want that video to be enabled in my one, if someone's looking on their phone, I want this still to be able to play. All right, now just to keep my branding consistent, I'm going to want to change the color of this little toolbar here. So I can go into style and go to this is a background, and I can change that color. I'm going to save it to my color presets, so this kind of more CD blue color, and hit save. So now it matches my image up here. One other aspect of doing this custom builder that I want to show you is how you can duplicate rows. So if you want to duplicate a body of text, you can do that by hitting the little icon here that says duplicate. I have one saved here from previously. Um, that is like a partner's row. I can pull that in. It's going to bring in different partners, but if I have more than three people I want to feature or three partners I want to feature, I can always hit duplicate here and it will add that extra row in. If you have an idea for a feature on your web page, I would start by looking at the modules to see what can be in there to assist you. When you first click on two modules, it's going to take you to standard modules. But if you click this drop down menu, there are standard modules, advanced modules, widgets, and saved modules. You can also search for a specific module in the search bar here. But I recommend, especially when you're getting started, just to look through and explore and kind of experiment with some of these modules that are here. Here we have a few different more advanced modules that are given uh, creative modules and extra additions. And some widgets. These are going to be different features that you could then add to your site. So for example, there's a neighborhood news widget that I'm going to add right here. And hit save. And it's going to allow for a subscription for neighborhood news. There we go. And so that can be done right on your page. So this might be a great module for a community or neighborhood page that if you have all of your information for that community and you want people to sign up for a neighborhood news, they can do it right off the bat. Just remember that anytime you want to add in a new module, I'm going to go back to our standard modules. So if I want to bring in some text, you're just going to click 
drag and drop where you want that module to go. And so this text editor, I'm going to click into general and then I can add more text. The last thing I want to show you is after you've played around, you've inserted different modules, you've updated images and content information, you might be ready to either publish this directly onto your website, or you might want to save your changes but come back later without publishing. All you're going to do is hit done, and then you can either save draft or publish. I'm going to save this one as a draft. Then if I want to go back to my admin page, I can hit admin home. If I want to go back and edit that custom page, all I have to do is go back to my site pages. Once again, this is that backbone of the site. Any new custom page that you create is going to show up near the bottom. So here's the custom page that I just created. I can go back in and I can edit it. And it's going to take me back to that text editor version right away. But I can launch the builder and go back into builder mode and edit my rows and modules from here. Once in site pages, I can click, drag and drop my pages wherever I see best fit. If you want to move things around or make something a menu item, you can just drag it over. Drag things over to where you want them. And then publish those changes. That's going to be our most important step is by going down to the bottom and clicking publish just to make sure that those changes show up when we go and visit our site. Thanks again for watching, and I hope that you found that this video was helpful to you and your Moxie needs. If you have any suggestions for upcoming posts, feel free to reach out to your field marketing team and we'll make it happen. Have a great day.